For my latest adventure, I find myself in a plane, 11,000 feet above the Earth's surface. But what comes next, I still can't believe I mustered up the courage to do. It's something that's very, very difficult to, to describe what you actually go through until you come and do it. Um, but nobody leaves without a huge smile on their face. Before setting out to take my first tandem free fall, I got a lesson in the basics from an expert. Once that door opens up, you're going to turn right, kind of like this, 90 degrees, and you're going to put your feet outside of the aircraft onto a diamond plate steel step. Then I was harnessed up <laughs> and reminded of what to do once we jump. Put your hips forward, head back, and take both legs and go just like this. Okay, that's called an arch. Before I could change my mind, we were climbing into the plane and taking off. Here we go! After ascending for about 20 minutes, I was hooked onto my instructor, given a pair of goggles, and bid my farewells. Anyone you want to say hello to or goodbye to before we do this? No. <laughs> Just not it. And then we jumped. And take it from me, I have no regrets and can cross this accomplishment off my bucket list. I thought it was a blast. Uh, the free falling was a blast and uh, I'd love to do it again. I'm not scared of it and just feel like it'd be exciting and want to do it before I'm too old to... Bucket list. Yeah. And after taking my free fall, I got certified for insanity. In Pittsfield, I'm Erin Thomas for ABC7 and Fox 22.